Hey YouTube, so I know y'all have missed me, missed all of us I'm sure, anyway, here with an update, um, by the way I have a fan going cause it's hot, if you can't understand me, I guess you have to read lips, but, uh, for several years I have intended to make a guitar. Bought the wood, bought some other stuff for it, and then let it sit for years. And then every summer, I'd be like, okay, now it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make this guitar. The reason I wanted to make a guitar was because uh, I wanted to travel with one more easily, and guitars can be a little big, and so I wanted one that was pretty small. And I saw something cool online, uh, and so I was gonna follow that. And then I was too intimidated and never acted on it. But, worked up the will, realized I have somebody I know that is good with woodworking. So I reached out to them and started working on it, finally. And it's a lot less intimidating. Still a little bit, but, you know, better to try than to just feel pangs of guilt and disappointment and inadequacy every time I look at it. So, last weekend was the first time we cut out the body. That was all we did so far. But um, I think next week we're gonna get a lot of progress. But I wanna give you all an update. I didn't wanna film there because I kind of forgot and also like, it'd be kinda awkward. Cause it's not just me. But, uh, I'll give you a little update and the plan. Um, I think Crowdog is the website of the guy that posted his travel guitar project that I'm copying. So, go look that up. Maybe I'll remember. Put it in the description. Maybe not. Anywho. Uh, so, to get this... We traced a, an ukulele, which is right there, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty small. And at first I thought it was too small, and then I tried to lay stuff out, and I realized it was actually okay. That was another hang-up, is like, I don't know how to make a body shape. I, I could freehand it, but then it could be, it would probably be jank. But tracing that ukulele would give me a, like, somewhat symmetrical body shape. But I thought it was too small. Turns out, it's all good. So, did that. The plan is, so here you can see a disassembled guitar, which has also been disassembled for several years after having the intention of making this guitar, and thus taking a usable guitar and making it no longer usable. So that's another thing, is I took apart this guitar and I didn't want it to just be for naught. So we're going to use this neck from it. The guitar was a little cheap, it was from a rubber sale. Um, it's okay. But, so I feel less bad? I don't know. You know, it would have been better to use a unused neck, but it is what it is. The decision was made years ago. Um, but you don't want to make your own neck because getting these frets into the right place is a pain. Uh, you got these math to line them up, and if you get it wrong, it'll be really bad. So, don't do that. Buy a neck. Unless you're looking for a challenge. Now the idea is it's going to go over here but like in line with the top like this little overlay bit is going to overlay but like over here so I don't know if you can understand what I mean but it's going to this wedge is going to be cut out stick right there. Uh, I don't think that's a wedge it's okay so it'll be like that. Then you got your pickups right here which is what makes the electric it's an electric guitar that's what makes the uh, you know, picks up the sound, I don't know. I was thinking about doing a dial for volume and tone. I don't really think I need a tone because I don't even use that for my full-size guitars because I don't really notice a difference. Uh, volume could be useful, but then I realized, well, I usually just keep it pretty much maxed anyway. The volume knobs and guitars kind of suck because it, I don't know, like, it always has very little difference if you're like halfway or higher. And then, like, you start to get low and it drops off quickly. 
Probably because it's logarithmic. I don't know. Um, maybe not. But anyway, it's limited. It's got limited use. So there's always a knob on a amp anyway. That would make things a little easier. Save space. So might just go that route. Might go no. Might go knobless. Um, but you got pickups. You got. Uh, the bridge, which is what the strings like bounce off of, kind of like they hang on, so it makes them, you know, resonate. I don't know, vibrate. No, it's a hard, hard connection point. It's this thing. This is the bridge. This is a tunematic. This is what was recommended on that website. Anyway, you got your pickup over here. These, I bought this off eBay um, to save a little space for the bridge because the one that. Well, so it fits better with this design. But this pickup is probably not the best quality, but it's taken from this guitar. So we're using that. Um, so that's over there. This goes probably over there. This will go over there. Maybe this can go a little less. Um, and then over here is, so the strings go across. They're actually gonna go through the bottom of the guitar and then underneath and back over here. And you do that to save space because we're gonna cut the head off. And instead of tuning the strings at the top, anchoring at the body, we're going to anchor here and then tune in the body. So we're gonna have tuning keys like here, but like recessed in. I'm sure this is all super confusing, but you'll hopefully see when it's done and fully functional. Um, these are going to go, like, down here, in, you know, like, set in. Um, yeah, and so what we're doing to wrap the strings around, this is all very similar from the design, but I don't have some of these same old spare parts lying around, so we're using different spare parts. Um, we're using these... Uh, these are from like for like a Harley Davidson motorcycle, I guess. Um, the contact did not like them because they were a little too big or something. But he thought they would look cool here, and I think they're fine. I think they're good. Yeah, sure. This is hard to do with one hand, but we have this thing, which is what the strings will go around, kinda, not directly touching. We're actually going to go around these little bushings. We're going to make six for each string. I need to recut these because they're not centered. One of them's okay. One of them's kind of bad. But anyway, this goes over here. This, this little bar will be between the two. You can see a little notch cut out in the caps. And then there will be holes here, where the strings go through the bottom. And then they go back here, this way. So they'll be, you know, they'll be pretty much the only thing on the bottom here. Except for another rod going on back there to wrap it around. I'm sure that's all very confusing and not helpful. That's the plan. Um, what I can do here, I have a little homework, is I need to cut out these bushings for the rod for the string uh, for the strings to go around you cut those out using this plumbing cutting tool so we were using something like this so it might be a little cheaper but maybe it'll work uh, so I need to cut out six of these and then they'll etch little notches for strings you can kind of see that um, and I should probably cut another one of these. Maybe not. I don't think I can use that tool for it. So maybe I'll just wait. Yeah, I think I'll just wait for that. But I also need to draw where I want to put everything. That is the bridge. There's the pickup. The bridge. And the tuning keys. And then the little caps and then the string holes and all that so that 
we're able to do more cutting and less designing when, when I go up and get access to all those tools in my contacts time. So, 10 minutes. Alright, not bad. That's the plan. I should think about that more too. Um, anywho. That's what's up. So, I'm going to... Hey, wait. Get out of here. Uh... Trick on. Uh... Cameo. Uh, I need to... I'll get a pencil, start sketching out and stuff. Start working and cutting out more bushings. Hey, hey YouTube, it's been a few weeks since I've worked on the guitar, but started doing some more today and forgot to talk about it until now. But basically, I think I said I was supposed to cut Where'd it go? There's a metal rod. Um, there it is. It was on top of it. This thing, which goes around something of this thickness, which is right there. So, um, these will help the guitar strings after going over the bridge go down through the wood. Um, help it rotate and alleviate some of the pressure because it rotates some of the tension from the friction. So, I also marked out where the tuning keys are gonna go. Like, boop, wait, boop, marked out there. Um, that's about it, that's pretty much all I did. So, a couple hours of work. Next up, tomorrow, we get to start cutting stuff again. Um, haven't been able to do any since then. Uh, yeah, so we'll cut the little things for the tuning keys to go into. We'll cut this thing down so that the pickups can go in. Cut the holes for all this stuff, hopefully. I also need to mark this is going uh, the jack it's gotta go somewhere like that so i don't know all right